the next topic in this chapter is your indifference curve you have to find out the indifference curve and budget line in order to understand the consumer equilibrium in case of ordinal analysis we need to understand these both in this video i will be covering all the aspects of indifference curve so before learning what is indifference curve let us let us understand what is indifference set see there is combinations a b c and d and these are apples and oranges you have a different uh, you have a constant income and the price of the apple and oranges is also given to you in this case what you do is you buy one apple 10 oranges or you can buy two apples 7 oranges or you can buy three apple 5 oranges or you can buy four apple and four oranges say these are the uh, four different situations combinations that you can buy now let me tell you the satisfaction which you get from all these combinations is same that is the satisfaction from combination a is equal to satisfaction from combination b c and d at either the consume uh, consumer choose a option or b or c or d the consumer will get equal level of satisfaction from all these combination so a uh, consumer can choose either one of them and he will be getting the same level of satisfaction so what is indifference set this table what we have made is your indifference set it is a set of combination set of combinations of two commodities that is in this we have taken apple and oranges of two commodities which offer a consumer the same level of satisfaction so the consumer is indifferent between the combination it's upon his uh, his uh, wish which combination he wants to choose but the satisfaction which he will get that will be the same right these are the different set so our main objective is from these sets what is that combination that gives the equilibrium to the consumer right these sets give the equal level of satisfaction but from these combinations we have to find one that combination which at which the consumer is at its equilibrium so this is the work which we have to do in order to calculate the consumer equilibrium so in different set we have understood what is in different set so this is the set of a b c and d combinations in these combination the, the consumer is getting same level of satisfaction so he can choose either of them like right so this is the in different set now let us understand what is in different curve this is the table we did right so this is the indifference set when you plot this table on graph or you give it a diagrammatic representation 
Then here we can take your apples or good eggs. Here oranges that is good Y. Right? So we can take on the scale of 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. On this we can take on the scale of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. If he buys one apple, he buys 10 oranges. If he has to buy two apples, he buys 7 oranges. For 3, 5. And for 4, 5. So, You get an indifference curve. I'm not getting the exact shape just because of my free hand. Do it perfectly, you'll get a con convex shape. Right? So, this is your indifference curve. So, a curve which is a diagrammatic presentation of an indifference set. It shows different combinations of two commodities like apple and oranges between which a consumer is indifferent. Each combination offers him the same level of satisfaction. So, this is A combination, this is B, this is C, this is D. So this on this indifference curve, there are other combinations also. So on this indifference curve, whatever the points you will get, so the consumer is at the same level of satisfaction at the points on this indifference curve. So this is your indifference curve. Now let us understand what is indifference map. See the various set of indifference curve makes your indifference map. This is your indifference curve, let's say I see one. This is your indifference curve two I see two. This is your indifference curve let's say I see three. So on the graph what you did is you plotted three indifference curves, right? So the the group of indifference curve or the set of different indifference curves on makes the indifference map. So indifference map refers to the set of indifference curves. I C one, I C two, I C three. Higher the indifference curve more is the satisfaction. At this point, the satisfaction is less. At this point, the satisfaction is more. At this point, the satisfaction is highest. So, higher the IC curve, more is the utility. Or you can say the satisfaction. Right? Now you have to study the properties of indifference curve. Let's make an indifference curve and we will take out the properties from itself. This is good X, this is good Y. Okay, so let's make an indifference curve. This is how we make an indifference curve. Right? So, the first property we derive from IC curve is downward sloping. It is downward sloping. Right? So, IC curve is down, downward sloping. The second property we have is IC curve is 
convex to the origin this is the origin so the ic curve the direction of ic curve is ic curve is convex to the origin third property we have is higher the ic curve higher with be the satisfaction we did it in the indifference map so this is the third property why the you know, ic curve is convex to origin due to the marginal rate of substitution this will study in the next video what it is marginal rate of substitution but hence in brief i will tell you what is why it is convex to the origin see for every extra commodity of good x you have to sacrifice more of good y and see when you were buying one apple 10 oranges and then you buy two apple seven oranges then you buy three apples five oranges then you buy four apple right four oranges so when you are increasing the consumption of good x you have to sacrifice the good y this is the reason the ic curve is convex to the origin and this is due to the marginal rate of substitution this we will be understanding in our next video i hope you like the video do download scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience